Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Clark again, and today's my final day here in Vancouver. So I had to come to Granville Market and show you all what's good around here. I'm gonna be meeting up with my brother Glenn in a little bit, and we're gonna show you guys the sights, the sounds, and of course, all the eats. So come along, it's time to get food. Located just south of Vancouver's downtown peninsula, Granville Island is a favorite among both locals and visitors. And the public market is a hub for its food culture which is why I couldn't pass up the opportunity to check it out. All right, so for those of you who are in Toronto, then you might be familiar with St. Lawrence Market. You can kind of think of the public market here at Granville Island as kind of the same thing. If you're a foodie, this spot is an absolute paradise. There's so much great stuff here, but I think the first thing I gotta go with has gotta be donuts. We got super lucky. There wasn't too much of a lineup when we showed up. It's donut time, you guys. And on Granville Island, Lee's, yeah, that's the spot. Some of Lee's famous donuts. When you're here in Granville Island, this is one of those must-do places. I mean, like, every Instagrammer, every YouTuber has been here. So I know I had to throw down as well. Hey, well We've been thinking about it all morning. <laughs> we got a bunch of different donuts. I think I'm gonna go with the mint chocolate uh, cake donut. Uh, this one here's the honey cooler, right? Eh? Uh, cinnamon cooler. Cinnamon cooler? Okay, I'm gonna try the cinnamon cooler. All right. All right. Cheers. All right. Wow. Pillowy soft. Nice amount of like sugar and cinnamon on this. Oh. And by contrast, these cake donuts are dense, Wait. rich. Oh my God, oh. Great chocolatiness. Nice light minty flavor. Um, so yeah. airy. Oh, I love this. Mm. Mighty cooler. Yeah, show them the air pockets. I don't see that. Really nice. Oh. And you can see just how moist and dense the cake donut is. All right, let's do another one. All right, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just really craving the cake donuts today. Matcha cheesecake, raspberry filling. In we go. Another winner. Oh. Mmm. Oh, the jelly is so sweet in this one. Oh, oh look at that That's filling. Beautiful. Yes. Oh. That's a donut for the ages. An I get food approved donut. Oh. So we still got two more donuts, and it's not like we're not going to finish them. Oh, we are going to finish these donuts. But there's so much more here at Granville Island that we want to show you guys, so let's keep things moving. Yesterday I was here as well and I was eating here at Alamode. I ordered the famous clam chowder pot pie. It was off the hook. Nice pastry, flaky top, and a lot of creamy, good uh, clams chowder inside. It was it was awesome. Um, you gotta check this place out too if you're in the, in town, Granville Island. So what do we got here, man? Well, let me show you. A bit of an interesting treat here. If I can get it open. <laughs> All right. This, my friends, 
is salmon candy. I've never had this, have you? No. Okay. So this is what I like to call smoked salmon on crack. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> right? If you like smoked salmon, what they've done with this is they've covered it in a maple glaze. So it just adds that extra sweetness. I'm excited Here, to try. Grab a piece. Give it a shot. All right, man. All right. Oh, nice and cold, sticky. Yeah. Mm. All right. Mm. Oh, nice and flaky. Yeah, it's nice. Mm. There's a sweetness to it, but it's not, it's not like overpowering sweetness. Yeah. It's just right. The smoke in that maple glaze has just changed the texture of it. Oh, this is wonderful. Mm. I, I wasn't sure what I was going to expect. Smoky and sweet. That is a brilliant combination. There's lots more going on outside the market, but right now we're heading back in because there's still a couple of spots we want to try. No surprise, more food. All right, so we got a bratwurst here and all the fixings. Sauerkraut, sauteed onions it looks like. We've got uh, some peppers and I mean, it can't be a Polish sausage experience without some of them pierogies as well. All right, so rookie move. We forgot to ask for another fork, so I'm just I'm just going right in with my fingers. There, you use you. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh yeah, salty, juicy, mm, good pork flavor. Oh, lots of seasonings in there. That's an excellent sausage. Mm. I gotta get a pierogi here. Well, I mean, like, don't leave me behind. <laughs> Nice and doughy. Gotta get in that sour cream. You know, you gotta have that sour cream there. Whoa. Fluffy potatoes, still nice and warm. Mm. Mm. Creamy texture, excellent pierogi. Wow. Fantastic. I'm all about the peppers too. Oh, look at it. the juice is coming out of that pepper. <laughs> <laughs> no, take a big bite. I'm making a big mess out of here. Okay, all right. <laughs> so sorry. sorry. Did I actually get it? Can I, can I get you guys something to make up for that? And, you sure? Oh my goodness. I'm so, I hope I didn't. Oh, good. <laughs> Embarrassing. All right. I got more of the sausage. This time I put some onions, some sauerkraut on this thing. Oh, dude, you got to try it that way. Savory and soury, oh, perfect. You know, the other thing I really like about the sausage, the casing has a nice snap to it, but you can get through it easily. When you do run into a tough casing, it can put a bit of a damper on your sausage experience. These ones got that great snap. Pickles, gotta have the pickles. Does the sauerkraut and the sauteed onions and the pickles count as like vegetables? So, so this is a balanced meal, right? Yeah, 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 yeah it's a balanced meal. Yeah, come on. I couldn't wait. I'm just going to use a knife as a fork. <laughs> How's that bite? Oh. Elevates that sausage. Mm. The natural sweetness from those cooked onions, the acidity and the pungency from the sauerkraut meshes with the saltiness of that sausage and takes you to hog heaven, y'all. European sausage without having some European bread as well, right? 
This one's from Terror Breads, another one of the must-have spots here at Granville Island. There you go. So this is their Parmesan herb focaccia. Look at how spongy that is. Oh man. Light, airy. Oh, has that great, you can smell the Parmesan. Bread for Europeans is like rice to us Asians, right? Like it's, it's, it's a must have, right? And after trying bread in Europe, Oh man, I can't get enough of this stuff now. All right, do you want to give it a try now? Yeah, man, absolutely. Let's do it. All right. Oh yeah, it's got that great chew. Mmm. Nice and dense. Mmm. I'm getting the, the Parmesan flavors right there. The herbs is what's hitting me. Yeah. What is that? Rosemary or thyme? Oh man. That's great. It's got that whole melange flavors going on there. All right, now I'm ready to explore the rest of Granville Island. Here on Granville Island, there's tons to see, do, and of course taste. You could easily spend a whole day here, but if you're ever at a loss for what to do, they do have these sort of handy maps kind of dotted around the island, and they're there to give you a hand. I'm amazed by the variety of stuff that they have here. Check this out. They even have a hotel on here. They've got an artisan alley, and they also have, well, whatever that is. And of course they got this for those of you who like the drinky drinks. And while you're doing that, the kids can hang out here. But I'm on a mission to fit in one more delicious bite. And I think this spot absolutely fits the bill. The Lobster Man. When you're here on the Pacific Coast, you have to throw down on something that you can pretty much only find in the Pacific Coast. This is a Dungeness Crab Roll. So Dungeness Crabs can only be found here, for the most part, on the Pacific Coast. And they're an absolute treat. They have lobster rolls and everything else, shrimp roll, I think I saw as well. Clam chowder, unfortunately, they were sold out of that today because we came a little <laughs> bit later, but... The Dungeness Crab was what I was most looking forward to. Cheers. Oh. Wow. So much crab in here. Don't forget the lemon. Hmm. Right. All right, why didn't we start with that? All right, perk it right up. Balance out that buttery roll. Mm. Oh. This is what heaven should, tip, should be like. Absolutely, for my money, the Dungeness crab is a must. Oh, so good. Just that light sweetness of the crab meat. Unique. You know what else I like about Particularly here, sometimes I'm in the spots where they do like these kinds of these kinds of sandwiches, crab rolls, shrimp rolls, lobster rolls, and they just drown it in mayo. And I think they do that because they know maybe their product isn't quite as fresh, right. and it can't stand alone on the flavor of that seafood. What do you think? That's not the case here, is it? Well, this is absolutely the most fresh thing you'll ever find. Yeah. Number twenty. Let's talk about the bread too. Nice and crunchy, buttery. It's it's like toasted. Toasted to perfection. I gotta have one more bite. Mm. The lettuce is nice there too. Like it's not just something to, you know, make it look all Instagrammable by adding in the green. The lettuce actually gives it a little bit of freshness and perkiness as well. But it is about that Dungeness crab. Mmm. Ocean sweet. That's what it's about. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that they have live seafood here at the Lobster Man that you can purchase, and then have them cook on the spot for you. It doesn't get fresher than that, right? All right.
right, so I think that's a wrap for us here at Granville Island. In fact, it's a wrap to my whole Vancouver trip here. But I had an amazing time. What about you, man? The best. Yeah, man, absolutely. Of course, the biggest highlight was being able to come here and hang with family. And a big congrats to my cousin Michael and Melody. That's right. All right. Well, hey, if you guys enjoyed this series and this video, then please remember to... Smash that like. And if you haven't already... Subscribe. And we'll see you all next time when I get food. Thank you.